Welcome to another App Manager 8 video. My name is Michi Schniebel. I'm Product Manager for App Manager. And in this video, I will talk about how App Manager discovers App Manager. So, first, let me explain my environment a little bit. I have two servers here there's the 201, uh, that's my QDB, a management server, and the agent. And there is the 202 server, which is the control center database and the active elements components around, like the CGS and the deployment service as well as another agent. So how does App Manager discover these things? Um, by default, it discovers them automatically. And if we take a look to these servers, um, you will find a new object in the tree called App Manager Server. And if you open that object, you find three sub-objects, which is the App Manager Role. Let's take a look here, and you find the agent, the management server, and the repository, so the QDB, discovered on the 201. Um, so let's take a look what we can see here. If I click on that agent, I see the agent port, um, I see the management server port, so the Unix port is enabled as well, and by looking to the QDB, I see the name, which is QDB here, um, and the version number, which can be very helpful if you have a large environment, and different versions. So uh, by looking to the services, um, I can open up this element as well, and you see the three services running here. It's the uh, two agent services and the one management server. And by looking to the security settings, uh, these are mainly the agent security settings is uh, what uh, management server is allowed um, to talk to the agent and which one can run DOS commands and do a reboot and things. So you can find all these settings from that discovery here. So let's take a look to the other server, um, which is my control center server. And by looking to the roles, you see I still have the agent there, but I also have the CQS here. Um, I have the uh, cache manager here, which is a component of the CQS, and I have uh, the uh, control center database, the NQCCDB here installed as well, and the deployment service. So you see App Manager now really uh, discovers the, the roles of each server here, um, and you can find that in your tree, and based on these informations, we create automatically management groups. So the first two management groups in your environment, they are there by default. Uh, the first one is the, the managed agents, and the second one is the more important uh, for this video. It's the platform components. And you see uh, your databases here. Both servers show up as the one is the QDB, the other one is the CCDB. If you take a look to the CQS, only one server shows up. And by the way, there's an issue here. I rebooted my machine, and when I was rebooting the machine, the CQS had some issue. So uh, by looking into into that, we can also go down here, um, you will see that it automatically uh, monitors these components. Um, and we will talk about this in the App Manager Health video. Um, and, and automatically tell you what's wrong here and, and, and why there could be an issue. So you see this event occurred only once, um, and uh, after the reboot everything was, was fine. It was just when I was shutting down the machine it failed uh, in, uh, for that time. So um, this management group up here uh, shows you all your machines nicely grouped by their roads and uh, by their function in your app manager environment. 